Tomorrow will mark eight months since the disastrous flood in Humphreys County. Just days before the flood, the county hosted motocross racers from all around the world's huge competition. This week, some in the racing community returned and News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald tells us they brought a big donation. You can imagine 42 motorcycles lined up right there and the throttles all away. And when that gate drops, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. There was nothing like it for four decades until through this very area, rushing water replaced racers. Just the tremendous devastation. It's, it was so raw. It was just uh, horrific. 17 inches of rain rocked Humphreys County on August 21st. Just a few days earlier, motocross racers were competing in the annual amateur race at Loretta Lynn's Ranch in Hurricane Mills. Our community, our racing community, although they're, they don't get their mail here, they feel ownership here. And we can't forget. And we have to, we have to find a way for our racing community to never forget what this community does for us. It's unfortunate that we're here for the reason we're here, uh, but we're excited to, to uh, tell you about our racing community because our racing community is your community. In front of county officials and leaders, $350,000 raised by racers was given to the local United Way, a church, a food pantry, and the Chamber of Commerce. Maybe it buys a window, maybe it buys washers and dryers, uh, maybe it pays for rent. Maybe it helps people like Louise Spears, the widow of the ranch foreman who died in the flood. He was such a big person. His big cowboy hat and his smile and and everybody knew Wayne. Wednesday's donation, the Racers for Waverly Group says, is just them getting started. It's our goal that our racing community won't ever forget uh, this community. It is our home one month a year. In Hurricane Mills, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.